Hey, what's up guys? Another World of Warcraft 5.2 uh, preview of Shadow Priest this time. I'm trying to get a few of the classes. Uh, I know I got a few PMs about people, you know, wanting to know what was good and what class they should play. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Uh, I've been playing PTR a lot lately. Um, World of Warcraft in general, just trying to get ready for this patch. Once this patch, you know, kind of, I guess, fades a little bit and it's out, you know, I'll probably start playing a lot more other games and, you know, once things kind of get settled down. But for right now, going all in, trying to figure out the two classes I want to play. Um, this is some Shadow Priest gameplay. I do have a level 90 Shadow Priest on live. I'm not a complete noob. Um, a lot of key bindings and stuff are not set up right on this character. That's why you may see a little, a couple errors that I normally not make. Um, but I'm trying to pick two classes that basically like co-mains. And I don't want to have more than two classes I play just because if you start having like five level 90s you're trying to cap every week, do all this stuff, you're not any good at any of them. So I'm trying to pick two classes and right now definitely going to play DK just because also I'm going to be raiding uh, on DK too so I may as well PvP on him too. Uh, as you see, I'm adjusting a key binding here. Uh, then it's going to be between Rogue and Shadow Priest. And I don't know what you guys think about the two classes. What's what, what do you think is more enjoyable to watch? Um, I know Rogue has some, you know, has some really flashy mechanics going for kills and stuff in arenas. Um, and I, I'm pretty confident that I can play both classes at a decently high level. Um, but it's just, I'm not sure. I, I can't make up my mind the what I exactly want to play. They keep nerfing and buffing. And I know that, you know, I shouldn't be looking at, you know, nerfs or buffs to make my decision if I want to play. But I don't want to play a class that is just garbage. I'm just sick and tired of just playing a mediocre class and getting steamrolled. As like last season, as a lot of you have noticed, that Warriors were just freaking ridiculous and it wasn't even point to playing any other melee because you were always outdone so i want to have a class that is at least competitive i think both shadow priest and rogue will be competitive and definitely on the right um, you know foot far as starting out the uh, you know the new season new raid tier i think they'll be competitive also i'm not going to be raiding though on the um, the rogue or shadow priest whichever one i decide to play but from what I can tell in this gameplay and some of the other gameplays, this this is kind of a blowout game. Um, but from what I can tell, Shadow Priest damage is ridiculous. And this is before the Mind Blast buff that just happened a few days ago. I played this earlier today and just tore up the damage meters. Just I think I had like 27 killing blows, something ridiculous in a battleground. And just, you know, me and another Shadow Priest just far beyond the rest of... Uh, you know the rest of the people we're playing with but that doesn't say much because it is PTR and noobs are just running around with ridiculous gear they can't play um, but and you know you can't go off that a lot uh, what you see in these battlegrounds but it definitely seems like their damage is good Shadow Priest definitely um, in a good spot the nerfs didn't affect them too bad can't really tell a lot with the healing nerfs if you're worried about healing nerfs um, not a lot has changed uh, definitely, I think the damage is better than it was. I mean, this video is probably a little bit less because I don't think they had put the upfront damage back with Devouring Plague. Uh, but they have put that back and buffed Mind Blast, I think, by 20% scaling with Spell Power. Um, so I think they're actually come out on top of uh, with the damage. You have the Mind Spike Glyph nerf, but a lot of times uh, Shadow Priest didn't use that if they're facing a good warrior and they needed the extra armor. Um, so I think they're in a good place. Uh, slight damage buffs, um, some of the shielding changes to help out disc kind of helped out Shadow Priest a little bit. Uh, I think they reverted all the flash heal nerfs. Um, I think they may have adjusted some other healing scaling uh, for Shadow Priest, but it's nothing super noticeable. You still have really strong off healing, um, still ridiculous utility, especially for Arena. You have basically an immunity. It's close to it. Um, you have Mass the Spell, you have Life Swap, you have all these good things to bring to your, your teammates. Uh, but the problem I'm having is Rogue also has all this utility and shutdown power uh, in arenas, and they have pretty good spike damage also. Um, so that's where my dilemma is coming up, and it may just come down to you know, what people want to watch, what they'd be more interested in. 
I, I don't know of a lot of Shadow Priests, though, that play. I know of some really good ones, but not a lot of... Uh, you know, there's not a lot of people playing Shadow Priest and doing videos and stuff like that. Um, and, I want, you know, I, I want my content to be entertaining, you know, all of the above. You know, I don't want, you know, to play some class that just sucks terribly watching. Um, because it's supposed to be kind of like my fun, uh, you know, side character that I'm playing. And I want it to be kind of enjoyable um so let me know what you think in the comment what do you think would be better watching shadow priest or rogue because i think they both have amazing utility and they're both going to be in a good spot for the patch um the the shadow priest the only problem i really am noticing they'll have with 5.2 is they will be in really danger of getting locked out if if you get a melee just training you and locking you out all day you still have quite a few casts um that you have to cast off but that's what kind of makes some of the really good shadow priests amazing because they still get this damage out while they're getting locked out or can't cast um the dispersion nerf that needed to be done it sucks but uh when you know you get locked out of a shadow spell you'll get locked out of dispersion so yeah i may do a few more videos of ptr changes it's getting close to the patch though um i really want to do a daisy video this week sometime um if anybody wants to play that, you know, anytime during the weekend, uh, this video will probably come out on Saturday. So like Sunday, Monday, leave a comment. I'll probably be playing Daisy on those two days if you want to play. Uh, I'll be trying to do a video on that, and then maybe looking at maybe some kind of Star Wars guide next week or uh, another World of Warcraft video. We'll just have to see how the uh, my school schedule goes. Um, but I guess I will talk to you guys later. Let me know what you think about the Rogue and the Shadow Priest. From this gameplay, definitely liking the Shadow Priest a lot. I'll try and have a Rogue video coming out. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Talk to you guys later.